Question 5. The line AB has the equation 5y equals 2 minus 3x, and the line CD has equation 3y equals 5x plus 1. Um, and the question is asking, is AB perpendicular to CD? And you must show your working. Now, if this was the exam, I would probably do all my working here, or most of my working here. But I, I'm, I'm not going to do it there just because of the video. I'm just going to do it around here. Now, you can do it around here in your exam. They scan the whole page. So as long as you've got your working in place, you should be you know, on the same page in the sort of right area. You should be fine. Anyway, um, if AB is perpendicular to CD, they are negative reciprocals. The gradients are negative reciprocals of one another. So if... A, B is perpendicular. Um, you could use a little symbol here, which would just be like that. Okay, to C D, then gradients are negative reciprocals. So that's what I have to prove or not prove: negative reciprocals. Um, if things are negative reciprocals, um, they multiply together to give minus 1. Okay, so therefore, I'll just write that down. Multiply together. To give minus 1. It, uh, if you didn't get this question correct, um, perhaps even if you did, uh, I'd like you to write that down just to reinforce it to yourself. Um, and also, this this looking at the mark scheme, it seems very important. That they, it seems that they really want you to to show that they're not just state that they are negative reciprocals, um, but show that they multiply together to give minus one. So, what I would do is um, I will rearrange these into y equals mx plus c format um, in order to see the gradients clearly. So, um, uh, so. Let's take AB first. AB is 5y equals 2 minus 3x. So um, all I need to do to rearrange this nice and straightforward is divide both this side and this side by 5. I'm going to move it over here a little bit. So if I divide 5y by 5, I have y. If I divide 2 minus 3x by 5, um, I, I mean, I could show that like this, couldn't I? 2 minus 3x over 5. But it's also possible to split out each term here, and each one is the same as each one divided by 5. So I have 2 bits minus 3x over 5. Now, it's also possible to now rewrite to say that this is y equals 2 fifths minus 3 fifths x. And it's also possible, therefore, to say this is y equals minus 3 fifths x plus 2 fifths. So you have to be confident with your algebraic rearranging, which really is the difference um, between sort of uh, grade 6s, 7s, 8s, 9s. So if I have a look at CD then, I'm going to put it over here. CD is uh, 3y equals 5x plus 1. So all I need to do is divide by 3, both sides. So what I get is y equals 5 thirds x plus, oh sorry, yeah, plus one third. So it really doesn't matter at this point uh, about the y-intercept. The only thing I'm really interested in is the gradients. So so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go down here now. Uh, I would be doing this all um, here or most of it there, but just for the purposes of the video, I'm going to keep it here. So um, gradient of AB equals minus 3 fifths. Gradient 
of CD equals five thirds. Okay, so therefore, minus three fifths times by five thirds. Okay, that's the same as minus three over five times by five over three. Um, and if I multiplied that out, we would have minus 15 over 15, which is minus 1. So they multiply together to give minus 1. Um, so, they, so they are negative reciprocals, so the, line is, so the lines are parallel. So I'm just going to state that they, uh, the gradients... are negative reciprocals so the line must be parallel so the lines must be I nearly said parallel perpendicular 